Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com If you have not already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see right here, straight off the cooker that I just finished, making a beautiful sweet potato curry. It's vegan, it's really fast, it's delicious. Let's go and do it. Okay, let's get moving. Let me just run through some ingredients. At the back, the main ingredient, which is our sweet potato. What I've done is I've peeled my sweet potato and I've just parboiled it maybe for like five minutes max. It's still got a nice body to it. It's not soft at all. It's just giving it a little head start. You can do this from raw if you want. I'm just doing it this way today. Tomatoes, there's about three medium tomatoes there. Onion, I'm using red, but you can use any color onion you'd like. Over here, I've got some powders. If you wanted, you could just use your regular curry powder mix you have. What I've got today is equal parts, and that's about one teaspoon of turmeric, chili, coriander, and cumin powders. I like that little combo. Here are some garam masala, or whole seeds, that I'm going to be using today. I've got some fennel seeds, which I really love in this dish. Some cumin seeds, black mustard seeds, and just a couple of green cardamoms. Again hundreds and hundreds if not thousands of varieties and combinations of garam masala and whole seeds i like that one touch of salt got some fresh green chilies here we like chili so we put quite a bit in entirely up to you how far you go with that there that's garlic ginger paste which is a 50 50 mix of finely chopped fresh ginger and garlic there's about two heaped teaspoons there and finally, I think just here, I've got some fresh coriander or cilantro. We're going to start this off with a little touch of oil. Today, I'm going to be using sunflower oil. And we may add a little touch of water. Let's get over to the cooker. So here we go. I've got my pan or frying pan or pot, whatever you're going to use. I've got a touch of oil in there, which I'm heating up. What we're going to do is drop our seeds in right now. Just give them a little mix. What we want them to do is cook in there, pop, crack, and what they're going to do is infuse that oil and give it such a wonderful flavour. Why that happens, let me just talk to you about our sweet potatoes. This is a white sweet potato. Sometimes you get them, they're white when you cut them inside, or orange, a few different you know, varieties of them. This is the white one. Now, just a tip, when you peel these guys, they're very much like yams and some other vegetables, they will go black really quickly. So you need to peel them and get them straight into water. And in fact, even if you leave them in water, they will go a little bit black if you leave them too long. Let me see if I can find, there you go. Can you see there, that's kind of starting to blacken there. So yeah, you've got to keep them sub submerged as much as you can. Right, that is coming on beautifully. We're gonna start by dropping in our onion. I'm now going to add that garlic ginger paste. Let's get the last bit out of there. We use this paste because we cook loads and loads of Indian food. Um, you could just use some fresh ginger and garlic and chop it up however you like. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to get our potatoes in. These are kind of fairly chunky. And like I say, I did just parboil them just for four or five minutes. Just give them a little head start. Don't overboil them because they'll just turn into a complete mush. Wonderful. At this stage, I'm going to get in a little bit of salt. Now we're going to go in with our powders. Like I told you before, equal parts of turmeric, chili, cumin, and 
coriander powders. About a teaspoon each. Or you may have a kind of, you know, a, a curry powder in your larder or your cupboard. You can use that if you want. So, we want to quite a, a higher sheet. What we want to do is kind of dry fry these around a little bit. Keep it turning all the time. We want to cook our powders but not burn them. So, let's do this. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. There we go, just that two minutes that was turning all the time. As you can see, it's completely dry in there. What I'm going to do now is add my tomatoes and spread them across the top. I'm going to put in some green chili now. Like I say, that's completely optional to how many you put in. I've got like four or five, you know, decent kind of green chilies there. Now, what we want to do, guys, is leave those tomatoes there. We're going to pop a lid on. Cook this for about four minutes. What should happen is the tomatoes will sweat down and create a little bit of a sauce for us. Depending on how juicy your tomatoes are will be the amount of water that they give off. Now, I can't tell you if we're going to add water yet until we come back. And if it's dry or not as we want it, we'll add a little bit of water. Otherwise, it might be fine. Four minutes. See you then. Okay, let's jump in now and take a look. Should be quite a lot of steam. There you go. And as you can see, those tomatoes have broken down and we have got quite a lot of liquid off there. Well, in fact, there's loads. So for me, there's no need to add any water there, I can discard that. I've got some ready as well, but not going to use it. So yeah, if you use like nice juicy tomatoes, you know, the juicier, overripe, the better. I'm just turning this right down to a simmer now. This is looking absolutely wonderful, if you ask me. Really simple dish, this, but just tastes great. So that's mixed in beautifully well. I don't want it any wetter than that. I'm ha really happy where that is. All I want to do is check these potatoes, and they're, you know they're kind of they're breaking quite nicely. Let's get that big fella there. He looks quite chunky. If I can break it with a wooden spoon, which I have easy. Look, can you see that? So yeah, even this wooden spoon broke them. So they're nice and kind of cooked really so finally for me I'm just going to go in with a load of fresh coriander or cilantro whatever you call it mix that in I'm going to turn the heat off because this is just done you can check this for salt if you wanted but there we go we've got a really beautiful what I think anyway vegan potato curry that doesn't take very long at all And I know that's going to be beautiful. Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon. Lots of love. See ya.